God's sake. As you were, Richard. Proceed with Plan Alpha. All rioters must be eliminated. The hell with you. I will not fire on helpless people. Aboard mission. They return back to base. Lieutenant Sanders, do you copy? Affirmative. Take command, detain Richard, and proceed as ordered. Richard, what the fuck are you doing? Delay that. All right. That's enough. The whole point is they've already psychologically tested most of the police now where they will follow that order. Paramilitary police. And by the way, they have a real plan the Marine Corps has in place that was declassified in 99, reclassified in 2000. The Marines actually visited and demanded before it got reclassified the Sunshine Project, a proto WikiLeaks at UT. And... Uh, threatened them to remove it, but then were too dumb or lazy to not get it off the uh, Google uh, archive. It's still on there. The plan with helicopters that are now drone in underground facilities, some of them are in above ground, that open up, copters launch with nerve gas. Now, the part that got declassified was the opiate gas. They plan to kill entire cities, and that's what the drones are for. I'm not, I'm not joking around here with you, okay? It's time for you to grow up. Criminals have taken over. They're not going to give it up lightly. Only realizing they've taken over will change it. Most people in government are not bad, but they're compartmentalized. All right, I said I'd go to your phone calls, and I want to. Ted in Tennessee, thanks for calling. You're on the air. You want to talk about the gun bracelets Holder wants you to wear, or, or is it the taser bracelets that, that they wear in the running man around their neck? Hey, Alex. I have no real problem with having a bracelet. You know, what's the big deal? It will make so, all guns made before that obsolete, and they'll claim they have to be turned in because they're not safe. It's a de facto ban of 400 million firearms made in the last 70 years that are in the United States alone. And the biometric bracelet can be deactivated by the establishment as all new cars have kill switches already in their ignition to be activated by police, cruiser, or helicopter as of 2005. So what's the big deal with the bracelets? What, what I believe is people should be judged by their intelligence, not by how much money they have, not by the political party. You get rid of all the people with IQs under 150, life would be wonderful. You know, there are a lot of garbage IQ tests out there, and I, and I love people that talk about how high their IQs are. I know people that supposedly have 160 IQs that can't balance their checkbooks. So a lot of it is I think the IQ test uh, is, is, is skewed. Uh, because it doesn't get into street smarts, doesn't get into common sense, it doesn't get into discernment, it doesn't get into the sixth sense, doesn't get into a lot of that. And, and, and you just called in with a total eugenic statement. You're saying kill everybody with under 150 IQ. We, we, we'd probably have like 2 million people left uh, if we got rid of everybody with under 150 IQ in the U.S. Right, but, yeah. So you want to kill, you want to kill, you want to kill... Uh, if, if we only had 2 million people left in the United States, how many people would be left? How many people have to be killed for, uh, for, for, for there to be 2 million people uh, left in the country? I figure 30,000 maybe. Okay, so you, so you've got such a high IQ, you don't know there's 350 million people. So you'd have to kill no, 313. 300, you'd, have to kill, you'd have to kill 313 million people. Pardon? You want to kill. You don't sound like you have a very high IQ. I got a 190. Well, I got a 500. If you've got a 190, yeah. Uh, Did you get that out of a cracker? Did you get that out of a cracker box? No, uh, seven colleges. Okay, uh huh. Seven. Government paid. Oh, I got, I got 100 I'm a hundred degrees. I got a, I got five hundred. No, I'm a high energy nuclear engineer theorist. Uh, all right. Well, let me ask you this: Should we ban our hydrogen monoxide? Well, the hydrogen bomb is not a problem. The the whole. Sir, you're a moron. The hydrogen monoxide is water. No, no. Hi you are not an engineer. I, I understood you. What about, what about sodium chloride? That's salt. So maybe your IQ is above 70. <laughs> Whatever, no, man. You're an idiot. Uh, what else do you want to say? I don't find there's anything wrong with getting rid of dumb people. Well, I think you're dumb. dumb. The dumb people. That mean I have a right to come over to your house and bash your brains out with the butt of a rifle? Well, do I? I'm allowed to defend myself. Yeah, those 
Those 313 million people you say don't have a right to live, I got news people that think they're part of the elite. You're going to have to kill us kicking and screaming, Jack. So you try it. You're the one calling for violence. Did you know Emergency Essentials has a lowest price promise on all of their long-term food storage and emergency supplies this month? While supplies last, save over $250 on the year supply of basics. A year supply of food for only $7.69.99. Get 36% off the Mountain House Gourmet Entrees Combo, 52% off freeze-dried tomatoes, and 57% off freeze-dried shrimp. Call Emergency Essentials at 800-999-1863 or visit BePrepared.com. The choice is clear. Be unprepared or BePrepared.com. A lot of people's lives and bodies are out of balance. AlkaVision Plasma pH Drops optimize pH level and get rid of harmful waste and acid. Just a few drops in water restores vibrance and energy and gets you back in balance. Now order two bottles and get $10 off your order. Sign up for monthly auto shipping and save 25%. Call 800-518-7615 or visit ALKAVision.com. Alkalize your body. Supercharge your health at AlkaVision.com. Great news, pure water lovers. BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com has a special discount offer for all GCN listeners. You can't do better than a Big Berkey for economy. For only 1.7 cents a gallon, a single set of filters can last for 5 to 10 years. There's none better than a Big Berkey for emergency preparedness as a backup water source. And you just can't beat a Big Berkey to remove dangerous chlorine, all types of fluoride, pathogenic bacteria, cysts, parasites, and unhealthy bodies products from municipal water. Berkey water filter systems are even powerful enough to purify stagnant pond water. For the gold standard in water filters, get a Big Berkey at BigBerkeyWaterFilters.com. And all GCN listeners get 5% off all ceramic filter systems. For details, call 1-877-99-BERKEY. That's 877-99-BERKEY. Big Berkey water filters for the love of clean water. Silver has always been nature's very own antibiotic, and only one system allows you to generate an endless supply of natural silver solutions, SilverLungs.com. You'll find no wild claims or pseudoscience, just a lifetime of nano-sized pure silver solutions. The Silver Lungs generator allows you to make your own, so stop paying for silver solutions. The unique lung delivery system targets respiratory infections where other silver solutions simply cannot reach. See the Silver Lungs generator and lung delivery system at SilverLungs.com. That's SilverLungs.com. Do you you want to feel awesome all day long? Do you want to sleep so good you wake up feeling awesome the way you did when you were a kid? Feel awesome with no caffeine, just awesome tasting nutrition. Try Passion for Life and rediscover your awesomeness. Call today, 844-TRY-LIFE. Call 844-879-5433 or visit 844-TRY-LIFE.com. The facts are in. The studies are legion. Sodium fluoride and other toxic members of the fluoride family are devastating the health and cognitive ability of the American people. So why are the social engineers adding it to the water? Simple. Dumb down the host population that the parasitic technocracy is feeding on. We may not have been able to get fluoride out of the water supply yet, but we can help to get it out of our bodies. I am extremely excited to announce the exclusive InfoWars Live Fluoride Shield Formulation fusing six of the best documented ingredients from around the world to help the body remove not just toxic fluoride residues from the body, but a whole host of toxic substances. Let's take a stand against the globalist by blocking their poisons with Fluoride Shield. I use Fluoride Shield every day. Secure your Fluoride Shield and other pioneering formulations at InfoWarsLife.com today. Let's start cleansing our bodies now and support the InfoWar at the same time. That's InfoWarsLife.com. seven degrees and was you know, in Menza and all that stuff was probably a real caller. And that's what they teach at the government funded universities on average is that you're geniuses, everyone else is scum, you're the elite, you have to run everybody's life. And then they go get government jobs or academic jobs. I mean, if you killed all the stupid people, where would the government be? And at the bottom of the liberal ideology is an exterminist 
ultra Hitlerian control freak cult. In fact, when we come back in the next segment, can we play the Soylent Green piece? You know, that ties it in with Pepsi, with its flavor testing being from dead babies and the fact that many of the top cosmetics fenced out of China into France and England are made out of babies. And there's a huge burgeoning global trade in baby flesh. I mean, that's all in the news. And I did that video and it got over 100,000 views, should have gotten 10 million views. And people are in the comments going, where's the proof? I don't believe people are eating babies. I mean, it's like, where's the proof China sells organs? It's just completely admitted in a thousand publications. China publicly advertises they sell the organs of political dissidents. The State Department 10 years ago criticized it. Then like five years ago, they changed it and said, that's a myth. Just total lies. Yes, China still harvest organs from executed prisoners. The Washington Post. There's the mobile execution van. I talk about that and people laugh at me. I talk about geoengineering, they laugh. Every time I talk about how the U.S. government detonated over 100 hydrogen bombs in the atmosphere, trying to blow out the atmosphere, destroy the Van Allen radiation belt, or ignite the atmosphere, or cause an EMP, people go, oh, that's crazy. Trinity, hosted by William Shatner, has got the high-def footage of it. You people, just because you're ignorant of something doesn't mean, let me tell you, the elite, the guys building those nuclear weapons, they've got 160, 170 IQs, for real. But they're so crazy. There's something about really high IQs that they found they're really stupid if it's a scientific type. They're almost like autistic. Like I know some real geniuses. I know one who's got over 170 IQ certified and who literally came up with all sorts of mathematic equations for computers and helped design fighter jets and everything else, and I'm not going to get into it. And they're so smart, they can hardly talk to you. And of course, I don't think that guy bumbling around was, you know, all, all he says is it's a whole cult of people with their, with their mail order, you know, uh, diplomas saying how smart they are. But when you get into that whole culture, the whole academic culture, it is just hate everyone else. Oh, you're so elite. And I'm, and I'm overgeneralizing, but that's the mindset of people that would get on the news and say, your kids belong to the state. We know better than you. Well, look how you've been running society. It's going to hell in a handbasket because you're swindling everything. Let's go to Joe in California, and then we'll go to uh, Dane and others. Go ahead. You're on the air, Joe. Hello, Alex. Hey. Hello? Yeah. yeah okay. Hello. Well, I'm not going to make any claims about being a genius, but I do have a couple ideas. Uh, first of all, I mean, if... Uh, they have those bracelets they want everybody to wear. And if somebody's retarded enough to put one of those things on, uh, are they all on the fre same frequency? So if there is an issue, the guy comes out and hits the button. No, there would obviously be massive malfunctions. And the, but the, the issue is, land of the free home of the brave, wearing a taser bracelet? Right. I, I mean, this is pathetic. And then the government is running the terrorist, and they've been caught. Where's my apology from all the neocon talk show host? <laughs> well, uh, my other uh, thought was uh, if they want to start you know, putting bracelets on people, what they should do is make everybody who is in government wear one of those bracelets. And when their approval rating drops below 95 percent, they get stunned. Yeah, that's an uh, intriguing idea. Well, that is an American pastime. That, that when their approval rating drops below, say, 50%, they get dropped into a vat of boiling uh, tar. Well, anyway, it was just an idea, so. Well, before they put fluoride in the water and gave us GMO that makes the rats fat and dumb and die, you know, people couldn't help it. You pushed folks around, they would rebel. But now they've given us a better living through chemicals, like the movie Serenity. Uh, where, you know, they, uh, I don't want to give away the whole movie, but at the end they find out the government's been putting Prozac in the atmosphere and it's caused everybody, 99% of people to basically just collapse and die because they just quit living. But then 1% turn into total psychopathic murdering killers. And I mean, that's basically what's happened. There's even some studies out there where they admit that all this chemical stuff is actually giving rise to resistant humans. Well, what do you think was going to happen? We'll be right back. Stay with us.
We're on the march.